Okay, so um, welcome to another episode of um, our series on tangency. This is going to be another one that we'll be doing, and today we'll be taking number five of the tangency problems from Pick Up and Packer Book Nine. So, sorry, <laughs> Pick Up and Packer Book One, uh, page 19, number five. Sorry, number three. Yeah, we'll be doing number three. So, it's it's this guy. So let's go straight to it. Okay. So the first thing we do is to draw our center lines. So let's have them drawn. Oops, sorry. I should be using this is my thin pencil. Then a vertical. Alright, so from the question, this is radius 25, and then the distance from this center to this center is 50. So let's get that done. You can decide to do any of them first. Let me have this. Wow, this is crooked. So we have we just need to find. So we have that okay then at the other side we have radius twelve radius twelve. Okay, so from the question, we have this to be tangential internally. This radius, this is radius 80. Let's take it as 80. I can't really see. I think it's 80. So we take radius 80. It's, 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 uh, so that's 80. Sorry, it's internal. So that we are going to take the to get the center of radius eighty. We are going to take them from each point here, or each of the centers of radius twelve and radius twenty five. So that's going to be eighty minus twenty five and eighty minus twelve. So to get the approximate location, we have eighty minus twenty five. Eighty minus twenty-five. So we have fifty-five. So get place it at the center of radius twenty-five and draw an arc. Then we do the same thing for 12. So that's 80 minus 12. That is 70. 
rather 68 yes so 80 minus 12 68 Then at the center of the stuff map. So this is a center for radius 80. So join it internally. All right, so we have that. Then for this guy, radius 40, it's externally and tangential to radius 12 and radius 25 semicircles. So that external means we're adding. So that is radius 40 plus 25 and radius 40 plus 12. So 40 plus 25 is 65 so we get radius 65 out and from here draw an arc and 40 plus 12 that is 52 and mark it out and then join it externally so we have this so we're basically done with this guy so it's just thicken up our holes our arcs A little too rough there, but uh, manageable. Do the same thing here. Then thicken the semicircles. And same here. Don't mind all the rough lines, rough circles, I mean semicircles, and arcs. Just try and understand the principle. So we have this done. I have to make this to connect. So we have that all. When you face these kinds of problems, I think my problem is this guy is too lack lens lack. You can use um um we have already made uh circle or what do they call it now like uh where yeah templates circle templates so you can just or you can use your French curve all the same and uh, get a smooth curve and these guys don't do so that's basically all for this guy so we have 
our shape. So all you need to do is to dimension and you're good to go.